In this demonstration, I would like to show you how to import an instance record and purposely overlay an existing instance record into Folio. And actually, the record we're importing will be in MARC format. It'll be a MARC bibliographic record that we're overlaying. And a typical example of this is if uh, you somebody imported, say, acquisitions uh, record or just a brief record, and then you find a better record for it. So in my example here, these records came out of OCLC, and I have them, I'm going to open them up in uh, Mark Edit. So I have one called, this, the title of the book here is Lost in Place, and this is the bad record. And this is showing the bad record, just as a Mark view, so you can see it's not that bad, but it's, it's, it's pretty brief. And then what I want to do ultimately is replace it with a better record. It's a DLC record from the Library of Congress. It's much more complete. So I'm going to look to create the profile first. You have to go to Apps, Settings, and then Data Import. And now you'll see a panel open up. We have job profiles, match profiles, action, and field. For To create a profile to overlay just an instance, we're going to use all four of these. And the first one I want to create is the field mapping profile. And I'm going to go to field mapping profiles, action, hit new field mapping profiles, and I'm going to name this um, print book overlay, and I think I've done several of these, so I'm just going to name it overlay three to be safe. The incoming record type is Mark Bibliographic. It always has to be at this point because we were in Goldenrod and the other features have not yet been developed. And the folio record type we're trying to affect a change in is the instance record, so I'm choosing that. Now, since my main goal in this is to just overlay the Mark fields, there's really not much I have to do or I need to do to the field mapping profile except have it exist. But what I will do is, is have the cataloging date today and maybe I'll make the accepted value um, temporary. Now, uh, what I didn't show you yet that I, I will right now is that the record, I'll show you the brief record as it looks in folio before we go any further. So let me save this one and I'm going to click on inventory and type in that title select title it's called lost in place and i'll hit search and here it is down here and so just so you can see the original record you saw the bibliographic portions of it but right now the instant status term is circulation this is the one we're going to overlay the instant status is circulation so we're changing that uh, the cataloging date is today because i entered it today so there'll be a very minor changes to the administrative data, but larger changes to this data down here. And now we need an action profile. For every field mapping profile you build, it has to hook up with an action profile. So the action profile tells it, do you want to create a new record? Or are you intending to replace a record? So this is where it's, we're going to um, select replace. So the name of it I'm going to put is print or over, overlay instance three. And then I'll select replace because we were replacing the record. The folio record type is instance. And I have to find that profile that we created, which I Print book over demo. Print book overlay three is what we called it. Okay, so I'm going to save it and close it. And now I do need to create a match profile, and I have several here, but I'll create a new one. And you can reuse these. These I do not give naming conventions. I, I, I usually name my action profile and field mapping profile, give them the same exact name since they're always hooked up together. But matching profiles, can be used and reused in different job profiles. So I'd like to, and I'd like to be again explicit when I'm naming them, I might change this, but that's just for now what works for me. So my new match profile, I'm going to put match on 001 to HRID. 
end, then as you go lower down the details, it asks which type of existing record would you like to compare to the incoming mark record? So my incoming mark record, I want it to compare to the instance. That's the, um, I, I want my match to be, actually it's gonna be from the 001 field in my mark record to the HRID field in the instance record. So my matching is between these two. And then we're going to keep it very simple down here and really not use many of these because you don't need them, especially if you're doing a simple match on the 001 field to the HRID. So the o field again is the 001. And in the exists, I'm gonna skip use qualifier. I'm not going to touch this. And I know it's gonna match exactly because I'm gonna make it match it exactly. And I'll show you that too. And what's it matching in the instance record? It's matching the HRID. So you have to scroll down a little to find that. And it's, to add, it's under admin data, instance HRID. And that's all you need for that. And I'm saving that. And I just wanna remember that's match on 001 because I have several with similar names. In fact, I think I'm gonna rename this so I don't get a second guess myself in this demonstration, so I'll put a three at the end of that. Okay, now up to job profiles. Again, this is the umbrella that holds everything together and, and makes them all the different parts behave as a whole. So if I go to actions, new job, job profile, I'm gonna call it overlay instance three. And the accepted data type is only marked at this point. And now we wanna build this we want to hook up these different pieces together. The first, piece per, the first piece we need is a match. So I'm going to choose the match that I just set up. And now it says four matches. What do you want to do? Well, four matches, I want to create or overlay an instance. So I want this to replace the existing instance record. And that's all my intention is with this profile and with the job I want this to do. And I'm, so I'm going to save it. Now we have a little work to do on the mark record in order to make it ready for this match to happen. So if I go back to inventory and I still have my record showing here for lost in place, I'm going to copy this instance HRID here. Whoops. Okay. And I'm going to put it into the better record in this 001 field here. But another thing I'm going to do, just to show you that the overlay did happen, I'm going to change to lost in place, from lost in place to um, all caps, successful overlay. So we can really see that it happened and, and we'll see that in the title field. And I'm gonna save it, compile it, and make sure I have UTF-8 and overlay I will call this okay and now I'm going to close it okay so now my record is ready my profile is ready everything should hook up together but we'll test it out I'm going to go to data import hit choose files and go to the right folder and this is successful overlay open it and now you see it in the waiting area here on the left menu. It's waiting for instructions. And the instructions I want to give it is to overlay, and I want to choose the one we just made now, which was overlay instance three. So I have a chance to review it to make sure everything is what I would like. I'm gonna say actions, run, and I'm gonna run it. And I have job ID 151, I'm looking for 152. There's 152, successful overlay. That's wishful thinking, but I think it worked. But uh, one thing I like to do to check right away is just right click, open in a new tab, look to see, is this full of, do you see your marked data here parsed out? Um, and I do, so that's a good sign. I have my 001 field. But what I really wanna look for now is that title change. So I'm going to the inventory, I'm going to, well, I can see it's already there. I love, I love how Folio loads so quickly. Um, actually, I should put HRID. I have it up there, but I just need to go through my little steps. Okay, so here we have 
you can see that the overlay happened. It says successful overlay, whereas it did not before. So that's good. And the catalog and date stay the same. My instant status term, I made call, called it temporary. I did not do anything, ask it to overlay the holding or anything to the item. So everything went according to plan. Um, if I want to check, I can go to actions, edit and quick mark and see, did all the fields come up that I wanted to come up? Um, I could take this out at this point too, if I just, just to see if that works and, and hit save. So that's how you do set up a profile to create an overlay based on the HRID matching with your incoming mark 001 field.